thin as weak as space. I don't know anything about space. No, seriously, I don't know anything about space at all. Um, I do know one thing which is sort of tangentially related, so I'm going to talk about that. Let me take you back to the far, far past. 1990. The Hubble Space Telescope launched. It's extremely precise, with tolerances of about 10 nanometers in thick, which is not very much. I think that's like 10 to the minus 8 meters, which is 0.000001 meters, which is not not very much. It's less than an inch if you're American. They sent up into space, and it's a big telescope that takes pictures of far off things like galaxies. They took it out into space, and they started taking the snaps, and they got the snaps back, and they realized that there was something very wrong, that it wasn't quite as high in resolution as they were expecting, that there'd been some strange problem in the construction of it, which was very unusual because it was arguably the most precise instrument ever actually created at that time. When they analysed the images, they found out that actually what had happened is that the primary mirror in the, in the lens had actually, um, had actually been cut in the wrong shape, that it was a little bit too flat, by a massive 2,200 nanometers, which doesn't sound like a lot, but that's actually 220 times outside of the tolerance, which is only 22,000%, not a big deal. And it was uh, causing light hitting the mirror in one position to actually be focused in another position, and then you don't get the right image. And so what did they do to fix this? Well, it took them a few years, but afterwards they very cleverly um, set up a corrective lens, the world's largest and most precise contact lens ever created. And it's very cool. It's an urban myth that the error came up because of uh, Europeans and Americans working together and differences between the metric and imperial system and that one was working in, in inches and one was not. But that is not the case. The case is that when they were making this primary mirror, the instruments they were using to measure it that closely were um, incorrectly calibrated and one of them was out by a massive 1.3 millimeters and that caused the readings to come out wrong so they thought they'd made just the right thing and they actually hadn't. And that's why that happened. You should really watch Chloe's video tomorrow. She really, really cares about this, and it's going to be very good. She may actually be in space right now recording it, for all I know. Although she'd have to, like, read up the sound. I'm not in a good place at the moment. But yeah, I hope you're all happy and stuff.